Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I want to talk about Dauntless. I've already done a Dauntless review. You can check it out in the link on the video right there. But today I want to do a follow-up review on Dauntless. It has released to consoles and PC with cross-play support. Isn't that amazing? PC, PS4, Xbox One, all on one platform, slaying behemoths. But I put about 10 or so hours, maybe 10 to 20 hours into the game since it came out for all platforms. And uh, I gotta say, it's improved. I want to talk about the things that I like the most about the game. First thing is the UI overhaul. In the open in beta, Dauntless definitely looked alpha. A lot of the UI elements were temporary. You can tell that they weren't uh, they weren't finished. But everything looks to have a place now. A lot of information is shown in a lot of dialogue. One of my favorite things in the UI is the element guide. It shows you which weapons and which armor to equip that best suits best suits the monster. It also shows you how well your armor and your weapon stacks up to the monster that you're about to fight. So if you're under geared, you can see right away in the UI. Another thing I like is that the UI also shows quests and objectives right within each mission. So if you're going on a patrol, if you're going on a pursuit, you can see right within the UI which ones have quests associated with them. And at the bottom of the screen, it shows you which quests are affected. This is a very intuitive thing that helps the flow of progression. It's a minor little thing, but it makes all the difference. The next thing I think is the best improvement of the game overall is the mastery system. I always talk about carrots and sticks with these progression games and these grinding games because you need something to grind towards and it needs to be fulfilling. Dauntless suffer from the issue you in open beta that you would grind all the all the gear you would kill all the monsters and then there was nothing to do you felt you felt deflated there was nothing else to go after with the mastery system you now have all these carrots from weapons to behemoths to slayers you have all these different categories to earn rewards so it encourages you to slay certain monsters over and over again and encourages you to use a different weapon it encourages you to try different things and to go different routes so you don't feel like you're you're caged into one path in order to get cores which are very important in dauntless and also to get other rewards that make your slayer feel more powerful so the mastery system is something that dauntless needs because in my previous review i talked about how dauntless needs something to keep players coming back because of monster hunter world monster hunter world is a big draw it has a deep system it has been around for a long time and a free-to-play game like dauntless needs a lot to keep players coming back and i think the mastery system is a brilliant way to do that now i talked about in my review how dauntless needs to bring in a lot of behemoths they need to bring in a lot of monsters they need to bring in more weapons to get, keep players coming back. But I think this is uh, just as a, a good idea than what I stated. I think this is actually maybe a better idea because it encourages you to explore all parts of the game and it adds many, many hours to your playthroughs. So speaking of new behemoths, a few new behemoths have been added to Dauntless as a result of the release, as, especially since open beta, because I saw a lot of monsters that I didn't see before. And the fights are pretty intuitive. One of the new monsters they added is called Boreas, and I have mixed feelings about this. It's a frost-based monster which spawns ads so that sounds cool right but the boss is invulnerable during this phase and i think i don't like any bosses with invulnerability phases so i'm not too crazy about boars however in the form of umbral and radiant monsters they have added rift stalker and they have added valamir both of which i think are great fights a lot of new players they talk about rift stalker all the time and i i fought this this thing once i called a thing but you know it's actually a rift rat <laughs> Rift Rat. It's actually a Rift Rat and it uses the dark portal systems or the dark themed attacks that we saw in Shroud. And a lot of new players, this is one of their walls. You know, there's a lot of walls in the game. There's Drask, there's, there's Rift Stalker, there's Hellion. A lot of mechanics that players who can't dodge or don't know how to read monster cues, they tend to suffer on it. But Rift Stalker is just madness. It's just portals and chaos everywhere. And then there's Valamir, which brings the radiant or light based monsters. And we've got our rave. We got our rave. We got our disco effects that we saw with Reza all over the place. So we got a few new monsters, not a whole lot, but some of them are pretty good. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about is the Hunt Pass. The Hunt Pass was introduced during open beta, but this is the first time I've actually used it. The Hunt Pass is a similar to, to Dota 2's Compendium and Fortnite's Battle Pass. You may have heard of these things where you earn reward based on different activities that you complete. And uh, there's a paid version and there's a free version. So it's pretty much one-to-one -one from what you would expect if you've done the Fortnite 
Fortnite Battle Pass. And this is another thing that can keep players coming back because it adds fresh new cosmetics and new content and new carrots. Again, there's that word, new carrots to chase, carrots on a stick, to chase to keep you playing Dauntless. So Monster Hunter World Iceborne is right around the corner for consoles. We don't know when it's coming for PC. So if you're a PC player, I think this is a good time to pick up Dauntless and get lost in it because you're gonna have a lot of time. Don't wait for Monster Hunter because you're gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a long time. It's gonna be, it's gonna be teeth gnashing waiting that's going to happen because the consolers are going to be having fun and the pc players are going to have to wait uh dauntless is fun you don't have to feel bad about liking it it's okay to like dauntless and it's okay to like monster hunter world as well this is one from one.tv this is my updated review of dauntless some deltas between open beta and live i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video you need to click that subscribe button and ring the bell for updates or i'm going to come over there and hug you and kiss you mm -hmm. no i only kiss my wife i ain't touching you all right bye